At Lutra, we have a lot of young process engineers, and we wanted to ask them a few questions around the engineering industry and how they got into it. So what drew you to this industry? Um, I kind of fell into it by chance. So through uni, I studied chemical and process engineering and minored in biology because I really enjoyed that through high school and it was less intense than say mechanical engineering which had all the coding and programming involved. I really like the idea of providing a service that um, impacts public health in a positive way. Um, I think it's important that New Zealand now and in the future continues to be able to have the luxury of clean drinking water. I, I originally uh, out of out of high school, I didn't I didn't know what I was going to do, um, and I was just going to go to university and study maths and science. There were two things. One of them was um, when I wrote down all the papers I wanted to do, they just happened to be an engineering um, like the exact engineering syllabus. <laughs> so the other thing was I went to a, um, a, a an open day at the university and. Um, saw one of the um, lecturers there giving a presentation uh, you know it was just a simplified summary of materials engineering um, which at, at Waikato University is, is is rolled into their materials and process engineering major um, and uh, yeah that got that got me into the degree well um, I did engineering at university and in my final year well for my honors year I did an internship here at Lutra and I was kind of captivated by the style of work that was done here, the kind of problem solving and the work culture. And I didn't really know much about the water industry, but being here and looking at kind of team problem solving and unique challenges and the way that um, engineers here kind of went about their work, um, that's what really drew me in. And then the longer I've worked here, the more I've got into it. So what education pathway did you take to get here? So after going to high school, I uh, took my studies down to the University of Canterbury in the South Island where I studied chemical and process engineering. I followed that up with a one year management degree and then found myself in Wellington here with Lucha. So I studied chemical and process engineering in Ototahu, Canterbury. Um, yeah, I guess when I finished that, I went straight into the industry and here I am. I had a really good science teacher um, who taught me chemistry and physics. I was saying that oh, I quite like science and I kind of want to go into this field. And he, he kind of encouraged me because I liked more practical uh, applications and um, I really liked applying learning to, to actual scenarios and real life events. So kind of on his recommendation, I enrolled to the University of Canterbury um, to do engineering. I did a degree, a, a bachelor's degree in, in engineering, um, materials and process major. The, the basis is sort of um, you, you need your maths and science. Um, but I would say if, if, you, if somebody's if somebody's you know really wanting to get into engineer, engineering, but they're not so keen on their on their maths, um, I'd say like you know it's 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 needed to get through the degree, but um, you don't need to be a genius at differentiating, integrating to, to do the job. Did you have any expectations of what the industry was like before starting, and is it as expected? Not, not really, to be honest. I did a maybe half a semester on wastewater in my honours degree, and I think, like a lot of people, I just expected water to come out of a tap. Um, had no real knowledge of how drinking water was actually provided to the population, uh, and because I never thought about it, I kind of thought it was pretty simple. I uh, didn't, didn't think of all the, the factors that go in and the vast amounts of people that actually work in this industry to get something that, you know, I definitely took for granted beforehand um, to a household tap or drinking water connection. Um, that's an interesting question. I don't think I had too many expectations coming into the industry. I guess once I was in it, and I guess part of what I was doing through uni, was I want to make a difference. Um, so it feels quite good to be doing that in the likes of making wastewater better treated and less harsh on the environment at the discharge, as well as helping communities stay safe with 
good quality drinking water um, and no contaminations in it. In terms of the expectations, um, nothing really. You hear a bit of rumours working around the industry of cowboys and the standard of drinking water and operations, but haven't really seen too much of that side. I can't say I had any expectations coming into the industry. I was um, ready to learn and soak it all up, but there's a lot going on right now. And I wasn't expecting to see such a small consultancy have such a big handle on what's going on in our country. Any advice for other young people considering entering the industry? I think an attitude is as much more important, to me anyway, of than just having a high GPA. You need to be willing to be wrong. You need to be willing to almost humble yourself a little bit. Um, to ask people with 30 years of knowledge what even a simple question is. And my experience here is people have been overly accommodating. They've, they've helped me out tremendously and have always given me a time even if they're very, very busy, so. Well, I mean, first of all, I, I recommend it. It's, it's a great job, engineering. Um, you know, you kind of get a mix of, mix of everything. If, if you dread driving a desk, um, it's got lots of opportunities to um, put boots on, put a high vis on, and, and you know, go onto site. Um, it's also, you know, not a physical job. You, know, you do a mixture of, of, of desk work and, and field work, which for me is, is you know, I love that. Um, I, I don't really want to do, be fixed to either kind of work all the time. It's challenging. It's it's um, rewarding. You know, it's 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 a job where you can you can do something and immediately. S Maybe not immediately, but you you can see the impact. You can see you can build something. You know, when you get there, it's a it's a green field, and when you leave, there's a water treatment plant there. Um, advice, um, like I, I I really like maths. Um, I, it was my highlight in university, but I know a lot of people hate it. Um, my advice is just just stick with it. Um, you know, don't give up because the the rest of the job really doesn't use that much of it. Um, you use Excel for like 99% of what you do um, in engineering. Uh, for anyone looking to get into the industry, it's a really cool time to get in right now. There's heaps of opportunity at all levels, whether you want to get your hands dirty or you want to be a consultant, um, and there'll be a very bright future for you if you jump in. Any advice now would to be get any kind of experience you can and learn as much as you can about it before you enter. I would say go for it, go for it and also talk to people. Um, at the moment, that's something I'm quite aware of. I'm putting a paper together for the water conference about networking and young engineers. So I think reach out to councils early or water companies. You know, we all, we all want to have more people in the industry and there's many pathways that can help you get there and get you experience. Um, and it's just a cool thing to be doing. And as I said, it's helping the environment. So it's, it's cool to do.